that marijuana increases your appreciation of good food, good music, and good sex. Now, those are not bad things to have going for you. But it's even more than that. For millions of us, we find that in the right setting, marijuana is an enriching experience. It's a positive experience. It sure as hell shouldn't be something treated like a crime. As Rick said, I'm the founder and currently legal counsel of Normal. Normal is a marijuana smoker's lobby in America. We favor the elimination of all penalties for the responsible use of marijuana, including the right to grow your own marijuana. And we further favor the eventual legalization of marijuana. Consumers want the same thing consumers want in any other area. We want a high-quality product that's affordable and convenient. And so we support eventually full legalization. I want to be able to drive down to the local store and buy some marijuana. I want it to be tested. I want to know the strength of CBD and THC, and I want to make, make sure it doesn't have any additives to it or, or pollutants in it. So we are the marijuana smokers lobby in America. Now, the bad news is that we're still arresting 850,000 Americans a year on marijuana charges. There's another marijuana smoker arrested every 38 seconds. Uh, there have been more than 20 million marijuana arrests just since 1965. And the real problem with that policy is, unlike alcohol, where the government differentiates between use and abuse, they don't arrest you if you're an adult for using alcohol, it's only if you abuse it. Yet for marijuana, they act as if all use is abuse. Well, bullshit, of course it's not. So we need to make that distinction.